from Hollywood. The Jack Benny Program. You know, Rochester, fixing up this scrapbook of my European trip last summer is a bigger job than I thought it was. Yeah, we've been on it for three days now. Uh-oh, I forgot. We're out of paste. I better go mix some more flour and water. <laughs> out of paste? Wait a minute. When we stopped working last night, we had a half a bowl of paste left. I told you to put it in the icebox. <laughs> That's right. Well, what happened to it? Don't blame me. You're the one who wanted waffles this morning. <laughs> oh, yes, I, I did ask for waffles. Gee, they were good, too. Now, Rochester, get me a bottle of mucilage. It's in the cupboard in the kitchen. Was that mucilage? Well, what'd you think it was? I thought it was syrup. <laughs> Rochester, you mean the syrup I put on the waffles was... Would... <laughs> what are you laughing at? Your teeth may decay, but they'll never fall out. <laughs> well, we can't glue these in, so we might just as well assort them. Oh, say, Morris, where was this picture taken? Oh, that's at the La Scala Opera House in Milan. Right across the square is the most famous violin shop in Italy. It's called Vitelli's. Miss Livingston and I had been sightseeing, but when I saw this violin shop, I, I couldn't resist going in. Fammi vedere questo biglietto. Aspetta un momento. Non essere impaziente. Eccolo, vedi, eccolo qua. Vedi, dopo tanto tempo, finalmente io vado in America. Un momento. Look at this place. What atmosphere. You know, Mary, just standing here among these magnificent old violins sends chills up and down my spine. I don't know what you're so excited about. After all, a violin is a violin. Oh, no, Mary, that's where you're wrong. In a place like Vitaly's, violin making is an art. Now, take this instrument right here. Isn't that a beauty? Just feel the finish on that woodwork. Every line bears the mark of the Vitaly family craftsmanship. A know-how handed down from generation to generation. Gosh, what a beautiful instrument. Must have cost a fortune. What does it say on the tag? Made in Japan. <laughs> oh. Well, I would have known the difference. It's these darn glasses of mine. They were made in Japan, too. They were not. Buongiorno. How do you do? I'm un americano. Yes, I'm Jack Benny. Uh, Jack Benny. <laughs> One of the truly great violin virtuosos of America. And I'm Grace Kelly, movie star, Princess of Monaco. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. You started it. All right. It's so funny an American should have come into my shop just now because my friend is a just show me a ticket to America. It's a dream he has had for many years. Well, he must be quite thrilled. Si. Have you any other fine instruments that I can look at? Si, senor. Beside the one we make in the shop, we got the finest collection in all Italy. Mm. Here's one I'm uh, real proud of. This is a Stradivarius. Gee, a Stradivarius. That's right, there. Uh, just think, in 1721, Antonio Stradivarius is at work day and night for three months to make this instrument. Eh, poverino, he's a sell it for ten dollars. I'll give you fifteen. <laughs> he's to make the joke, no? No. Thanks. I mean, Mary. This violin, Mr. Benny, is priced in American money thirty thousand dollars. You look around. If there's something you like, uh, you let me know, huh? What a violin. I think it's beautiful. Well, Mary, it isn't the looks. It's, the main thing is the tone, you know. 
Gee, $30,000. Rochester, but the next day I went back uh, without Miss Livingston and I dickered with the boss of the shop for a few hours and we finally made a deal. Then you bought a violin? No, some rosin. <laughs> you mean that's all you bought? That's all I bought. Rochester, a trip to Europe is very, very expensive. You know, transportation, hotel, food and everything. Gee, and I gotta find some way to make up for all that money I spent. See, I can cut down on clothing and entertainment, but, uh... <laughs> Rochester, how much am I paying you? <laughs> Boss, you wanna you wanna glue this picture in your scrapbook? I'll glue it in later. Answer my question. How much am I paying you? Let's finish pasting these pictures in the scrapbook. <laughs> All right, let's finish it. <laughs> it works every time. Stop giggling and hand me those pictures. About Venice. Those are the ones I want. The Venice pictures. Here you are. Say, does the city of Venice have water every place? Isn't there anything else but canals? Oh, there's a lot more to Venice than canals. You know, Venice is one of the most beautiful cities in Europe. And I live near the Campo San Baldo. There's the Lido across the lagoon. San Marco Square is a fabulous sight. And there's a famous Rialto Bridge across the Grand Canal. I used to love to feed the pigeons in the Campo San Baldo. Could you tell me... Oh, excuse me. Uh, senor, me look for Cafe Sorrento. 
Cafe Sorrento, straight past bridge to Venezia Palazzo. Oh, thank you. The me tourist, Jack Benny, Hollywood. Me tourist too, Chief Thundercloud, Oklahoma City. <laughs> Certainly the small world. <laughs> Let's find out where it is. Let's go. Okay. Mary, what are you staring at? Um, what are those men doing? <laughs> I don't know. It's some kind of an Italian game. <laughs> You wish to sit at the bar or at the table? A table. This way, then, please. Signora? Thank you. Signora. Could we get a sandwich? Yes, certainly, sir. Oh, look, they have hamburgers. Why don't we have some of those? Yeah, bring us a couple of hamburgers. Two hamburgers. Very good. <laughs> Good to sit down. I hope you're through shopping. Almost, but there's something I have to get before I leave Venice. I hear they have the most beautiful leather goods here. Yeah. Mary, what are you staring at? Isn't that the American we saw yesterday? Yeah. Yes, it is. I think I'll go over and ask him if he'd like to join us for a drink. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Hi. Oh, hello. We just came in for a snack and maybe a drink and thought you might like to join us. No, thank you. Um, when I finish this, I'm going back to the hotel to pack. Oh, yes, you're leaving in the morning, aren't you? Yes. Well, have a nice trip. Thank you. <laughs> Signore, in this place, it's so unusual an American who refuses to accept an invitation from a fellow American. Yes, I know. Is he a friend of yours? No, no. <laughs> I only met him yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday you were here. I remember you ordered the double scotch. Yeah, that was after I met him. <laughs> Look, all right, I'll tell you. Yesterday afternoon, I decided to kill some time, so I thought I'd take a little sightseeing trip. I was standing in line, waiting for the gondola, and he and that young lady were standing, waiting behind me. Momento! Momento! Emilio! Qui! You'll love Momento. this trip, Mary. They say these canals are really something. Uh, pardon me, do you have the correct time? Time? Yeah. It's ten minutes to one. Thank you. Are you an American? Yes, yes, I am. When are you going back home? Wednesday. Wednesday? <laughs> That's only two days. Take my advice, buddy, and postpone your departure. Uh, well, I think it's ridiculous for anybody to leave Venice without seeing the tinted palaces, the campanile. The, the, the famous bronze horses in St. Mark's Square and Floriana's. But I've already seen those places. Oh. <laughs> and this isn't your first day? No. How long have you been here? Twelve years. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, incidentally, it, it isn't Floriana's, it's Floriana's. <laughs> If you don't mind, I'd like to go home Wednesday. <laughs> yes, we'll rub it in you. Well, it's your own fault. It is not. Why didn't he tell me how long it was going to be here? Well, maybe it felt silly saying, what is the correct time? I've been here 12 years. Ogni gondola sette persone. E allora, signori, facciamo una passeggiata con il mezzo più caratteristico di Venezia, la gondola. Le gondole partiranno ogni 10 minuti e ciascuno conterrà 7 persone. What do you say? What do you, what do you say? What do you say? What do you say? He said a gondola leaves every 10 minutes and each one holds 7 people. 
Oh, Mary, let's move up close so that we, we can get on the first boat. Excuse me. Prima di iniziare questa passeggiata voglio illustrarvi alcune bellezze di Venezia. Qui a sinistra quest'uomo mi sta pestando i piedi. Uh, what he say? What he say? What he say? How do I know what he said? In vent'anni che faccio il conduttore non ho mai trovato un animale come questo e continuo a pestarmi i piedi. What he say? What he say? What he say? Uh, se lo picchio e gli rompe il naso perdo il posto e mi pesta sempre il piede. What he, what he say? What he say? What he, you understand Italian? What he say? He said you're standing on his foot. <laughs> Mary, Mary, save a seat for me. I want to get one of those gondolier hats. But, Jack, you haven't got time. It'll only take a minute. Uh, I want to get one of these hats, please. Come on, Jack, we're starting to go. I'll be with you in a minute, Mary. Let me try this other one. Let's see. This one here. Thank you. Thank you. I'm coming. Once you buy a ticket, you can't get your money back. You can't? No. Well... Jack! What about your health? Mary, you gotta gamble once in a while. Signore, signore, adesso stiamo percorrendo il Canal Grande. Se ammirate attorno, potete guardare i famosi palazzi storici di Venezia. Da questa parte la grandiosa piazza San Marco. Jack, will you please stop squirming around? Well, I'm uncomfortable. I think my suit shrunk. <laughs> anyway, I... I... Bless you. Thank you. I think I'll be more comfortable over there. Be careful or you'll fall in the water again. Well, I don't know why they build these boats like this. This one's too narrow. What do you mean, too narrow? You fell off the Queen Mary. <laughs> Only once. Signori, il luogo più romantico di Venezia, Campo San Baldo. He says this is one of the most romantic spots in Venice, the Campo San Baldo. Campo San Baldo? Wait a minute, according to my guidebook, we're not supposed to read San Baldo until after we see the gritty palace. Now, why do we skip that? I'll find out. Perché il passe gritty palazzo? Perché quando questo signore è cascato in acqua, abbiamo ritardato la passeggiata. Non c'è bisogno di recuperare. He says when you fell in the water, it delayed the tour, and now we have to make up time to keep on schedule. I don't care about a schedule. I paid 400 lira for the sightseeing trip and an extra 100 for the blanket. And I'm going to have 400 liras worth of sightseeing. I know my rights. After all, I'm an American citizen. Jack, you promised the State Department you wouldn't tell anybody. I didn't promise. I said I'd think about it. Questi ragazzini sono qua perché i gondolieri buttano le monete nell'acqua per buona fortuna. He says the reason the children are here is because this is the spot where every gondolier throws a coin in the water for good luck, and the children die for it. Oh. 
auguro buona salute alla mia famiglia e buona fortuna alla mia gondola. You know, that's one of the nicest... <laughs> yeah! Here I am, Mary. Well, when I heard that splash, I thought maybe... <laughs> Mary, how could you? <laughs> Heavens to Betsy. I just came up here to take a picture. Maroni dipinti con i colori del disegno dei proprietari. I palazzi con architettura che vanno dal bizantino al gotico al rinascimento. He says we're in the side canal now, but we're going into the Grand Canal, but we will pass the Cafe Sorrento, one of the most popular cocktail lounges in Venice. You know, Jack, I hear they have over 400 bridges in Venice. And wait, some a minute, of them... wait a minute, Mary. The guy just threw me into a great joke by mentioning the cocktail lounge. I'll be able to do it on my television show next year. Now, get this. Wait a minute, get this. Listen. Guy, stop. Stop. Wait a minute. I want you to hear this. Everybody, I want you to listen to this. See, I'll say that Frank Rimley, my guitar player, was in Venice with me. And we went into this cocktail lounge, and Frankie sat down with one of the natives. So Frankie took a drink, then the native took a drink, then Rimley took another drink, and then the native, then Rimley, then native, Rimley, then the native, until finally the native couldn't see anymore. <laughs> Remley is the first guy to ever drink a Venetian blind. <laughs> a Venetian blind. Like you. Well, for heaven's sakes, why didn't somebody tell me when we got to the bridge that the tide was in? At least they could, could, achoo! Thank you. Hey, Jack, you Good sandwich. Yeah, let's go. Well, Mary, I can't understand why that American didn't come over and have a drink with us. Well, I don't blame him after what happened yesterday. I think you ought to go over and apologize. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, before we leave, I wanted to tell you how terribly sorry I am about what happened yesterday. Oh, that's all right. Incidentally, I was too modest to mention it before, but I happen to be Jack Benny, star of stage, screen, and... Cabeza tira gamba! Oh, thank you. He said, break a leg. <laughs> yeah, sounds so nice in Italian. Watch the history and the fun of the Movie Tone newsreels right here Monday through Friday, every night at 10 on TV20. You can earn up to $100 in one half hour simply by watching the Jeffersons Monday through Friday at 6, right here on TV20.